At what point does a president become a dictator? Senator Joni Ernst claims to know. In 2014, she called President Obama a dictator and floated calls to impeach him. He should face those repercussions, and whether that's removal from office, um, whether that's impeachment. But now that it's Trump in the Oval Office, she's singing a very different tune. She has no problem with the president staying in power forever, as long as he's a Republican. And we are going to win four more years, and then after that, we'll go for another four years. And when Trump was impeached for abusing his presidential powers to target Joe Biden, Ernst voted to acquit him, becoming complicit in his corruption. I will vote against both articles of impeachment. So, if Joni Ernst won't stand up to our would-be dictator, what does she stand for? She gleefully confirmed accused sexual predator Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. I rise today to voice my support for the nomination of Brett Kavanaugh. She's working to repeal Roe v. Wade and strip reproductive choice from American women. And now, Ernst wants to take health care away from millions of Americans, even as Trump's COVID-19 crisis causes widespread death. Every time it's mattered, Joni Ernst has chosen Trump and the Republican Party over her country. This November, Iowa must choose democracy over Joni Ernst.